G'day, Ben from Melbourne here, and I'm going to have a crack at Mike MGK Boston's um, thread, which he called 12 Plus One Greatest Hits Albums, but I'm going to change that to calling it 13 Plus None, not Greatest Hits, the Australianized edition. Not a hit insight here. I don't have any greatest hits records. Um, so I didn't even count. So hopefully this is 13. Hope that doesn't spook all of you Yanks out. Don't seem to like that number. Whoa. It's going to be all right. You're in the hands of a professional. All right, let's start with some 60s nuggets called the Chimney Sweeps. And this is a crude, unissued Australian garage, 1966 to 67, with their track Devil Girl, which I believe that and Lies Lies were released as a single, maybe. Um, pretty obscure stuff. This is actually on Norton Records, believe it or not. And see that bloke over there? That used to be my boss. Well, this is way before that. Um, and I had this record before I even knew him. But this band, The Chimney Sweeps, evolved into a more proggy affair called It Flew Away. Um, totally different, but um, there's a little bit of obscure trivia for you. Next up in my not greatest hits collection would be the mighty scientists and the great numero comp called a place called bad this is a ripper um and it's got this awesome chart which gives you um a rundown of every single person that's ever been in this band and you might think that's a lot, but there were like three distinct phases of this band. Um, and it's called cool Booklet here. It's a great picture of the Saints there. This is uh, yeah, the Kim Salmon, Boris Sajevic era. That's the first version. And there's the great James Baker, who was in every bloody punk band at the time. First Hoodoo Gurus record, Early Beasts. There's the Cheap and Nasties. I don't mean that photo is Cheap and Nasty. That was what the very first punk band that um, Kim Salmon was in. Anyway, let's not dilly dally. Try to move along. That's only two. Jeebus! Alright, sorry about the close up of the bonds. Just clean and shit. Next! Proton Energy Pills. And if you're like, who the hell is that? This band morphed into the mighty Tumbleweed, who some of you stoner rock lovers would probably be familiar with. This is a comp of um, their, all of their releases. Um, great inner pictures there. Some poster kind of action. Beautiful stuff, um, and this one was on uh, Music Farmers, was the label, and there's the um, Nobody in Australia Actually Drinks Fosters, so I just let you in to a little home truth there, we just import it to all of you, so sorry about that, it's shit beer. Next, Hee Haw, Hee what? Hee-haw. Birthday party comp of all of their early stuff, with uh, yeah, including Mr. Clarinet, um, Hats on Wrong, their great version of Catman, their really, really cool record. And this one is on Drastic Plastic, and looky there, number 492 of 500. 
awesome stuff if you want to see how yeah the birthday party started this is a good comp which probably readily available not this drastic plastic one but i'm pretty sure you can still get it next up the sydney punk poppers the best of the hard-ons oh yeah great cover always had cool artwork these dudes um, Great songs like Girl in a Sweater, um, uh, what's it called, Suck and Swallow, love that, and Busted, that's the other single I like, well, I like them all, this kind of one comes with a groovy little bit of posterage. What are we up to? One, two, three, four, five. So number six, Mr. Edmund Cooper, he of the Saints, Aints and Laughing Clowns. This came out last year, I think. Uh, singles 86, 96. This is really good. Um, this one is on that very tiny lego and it is a double on this great pink vinyl so yeah this has got um way i made you feel black ticket day lady do his great version of highway to hell really cool stuff um i don't think i said yeah, this one was on Radio Blast Records, by the way. Two for one, so this is still number six. The Laughing Clowns, History of Rock and Roll, Volume 1. Don't believe there was ever a Volume 2. So this is the real early stuff. This is awesome. Um, theme from Mad Flies. Yeah, Holy Joe. Everything that flies, great stuff. Cool. And this one is on Hot Records. Holy shit. Some unreadable lyrics. Thanks, Ed. And there's the Hot Records label there. Sorry, when I said twofer, I got a little bit excited there because if it was Ed. But it is still kind of a twofer because this is the other. Laughing Clowns comp that came out very recently, so this should be more gettable. This one's called Golden Days When Giants Walk to the Earth. Great pictures on this. Yeah, this is a, this is a Ripper 2, you got Eternal Yours, uh, Flypaper, Holy Joe. And this one is on a nice clear vinyl. And this comes with bit of info there good stuff right so that would be number seven so this is number eight and the go-betweens the best of called quiet heart i mean that dude looks a bit like henry wagons if you know who he is singer from the band wagons um it could be because he uh had a song i still can't find her and um Robert Forster did backup vocals in it, so you never know. Um, this is on EMI Records, I believe that is the go-between bridge in Brisbane. Gatefold with the go-betweens story in there, and I don't think there's anything to write home about, just pictures of the records and lyrics. And a few photos, more lyrics. Right now, a couple in a row that the old mate Garner's gonna dig. Purple Hearts is a great comp. Um, Zenith Records, a lot of their stuff come out on this Sunshine label, which is awesome. I've still got to track down the Terry Worsley 
uh, original of just a little bit. I have been told that it is as good as the Purple Hearts one, which is almost hard to, too hard to believe because it's a freaking belter. There he is in the corner, the guitar god, Lobby Lloyd. He's also playing in the Wild Cherries and the Coloured Balls. Speaking of his lobness, here is Wild Cherries comp called 16 pounds of R&B. So this is like the earlier version of um, the Wild Cherries when they were strictly bluesy and R&B and it, before it got a little bit uh, wilder. This is a great comp. Doesn't cover everything um, by any means. It's on um, Groovy Records. Got a nice little insert in there. All right, we must be getting close to the end. Let's count the records. One, two, three. Oh, I bet you this is stimulating to watch. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, we're getting down to the end. Number 11 is Dave Faulkner's pre Hoodoo Gurus band, The Mighty Victims with uh, Sleeping Dogs Lie. Awesome punk band from Perth. Uh, this one's on 1977 records, so this is made up of everything they ever recorded because they didn't ever put out a full album, a few seven inches and what have you. Um, just groovy looking labels on there. And the info. Alright, I'm calling this comp because it's not separate albums it runs like a comp and it's been a while since i talked about him yeah my boy roland s howard with the box set six strings that drew blood got four albums reason it's a comp to me is because it covers um his stuff with the boys next door birthday party uh the cover of some velvet morning he did with lydia lunch uh, his work with uh, Crime and the City Solution, Nikki Sutton, and also the band he formed um, called These Immortal Souls. Uh, there's a track by Magic Dirt featuring Roland, and then it closes out with um, stuff off his two brilliant solo records. Um, great box set. I reckon you can still get this. Some of the most original, brilliant guitar playing you're likely to hear in my opinion last one could be a cheat but that's what the vc is all about cheating um i'm gonna go with because it features it's a compilation of the great label anti-fade look at that artwork it's called new center of the universe this is volume three i have volume one and volume two um they only come out on cd and a nice little label and surprise surprise it's on anti-fade um a little in there nice bit of artwork so you got stuff on here like alien nose job terry the stroppies uh, Traffic Island, The Shifters, Gonzo, Exec, and Vintage Crop. So some quality shiznit on this one. So, going to close out. Thanks for watching. Check out MGK Mike from Boston. He's a champ. I'll leave these details below. See you in the next one.